Hi, I'm Rhett Elaine. I'm a blogger at uh, Wired Science Blogs and an author of an upcoming book, Angry Birds Furious Forces. So I have a helper here today, and the helper is. You want to you say who you are to the camera? Ellie Elaine. Ellie. Okay. And what we're going to do here is do an experiment from uh, the book. And basically, what we want to do is uh, see how far things go when you shoot them at different angles. So. I made this out of Lego. Let me give you a, a closer shot. You see right here? Uh, so, pack that little thing with the stick sticking on it. Awesome. So, the way this works is I pull this back and you shoot it, and it looks just like it's just like uh, the slingshot in Angry Birds, uh, but I can change the angle that I shoot it at. Okay. So, what we're going to do, I put a piece of tape on here too. So that way I can pull it back the same amount each time. So I'm going to put it right here. I'm going to shoot the, a block, I have little blocks, at 10, I'm 15 degree angle. I'm going to shoot it at 30 degree angle. And I'm going to shoot it at 45 and 60. So here I'm measuring, let's do 15 degrees, my handy protractor. Protractor, you know how to use protractor? Protractor. You know how to use it? No. Okay. So that, what does a protractor do? But what does it do? It measures angles. It measures angles. Okay. So that is about 15 degrees. Okay. So here I'm going to take my launcher. I, and I this is actually the second generation of these things. I wanted to make it even better. Okay, now you watch where it hits. We can mark, we can measure where it hit. Okay, you ready? about right here? It's about 0.33 let's say. Is that okay? Okay, let's, should we do another one just to make sure? Let's shoot it again because that one didn't feel too good. And if it doesn't feel right, then maybe it's not right. Okay. I can tell you're excited about this whole experiment. Yeah. You. Okay. And 0.3. Okay, that was good. So let's, let's keep the first measurement. We could do this a lot better by doing a whole bunch of trials, but we're not going to. You know why? Right. Takes too long. Okay, next angle is what? 30. 30. Okay, so 30 degrees. Move this up. Do you like to play Angry Birds? I used to. I don't play that much. Okay. You're not speaking loud enough. No one can hear you. Sorry. Okay. Okay, so now we're going to take this as 30 degrees and watch where it hits so we can mark it, okay? You ready? So let's say 0.5. That's pretty good. Okay, now let's do 45 degrees. 45 degrees. You got to make that noise, you know? You're going to make a dip on that one, just sounds no one can hear you. I'm sorry, no one can hear me. Okay, so that is about 45 degrees. And my assistant's just going to measure because she apparently can't talk. Okay. Can talk? Shh. Okay, look at the camera. Okay, now look where this lands. You ready? You told me to look at the camera. Okay, ready? You ready? About right. 0. 0.7. It's That's pretty good. It's on the ground. That's fine. I got extras. Okay, now let's do 60 degrees. This is awesome. White and orange do not go together. I just grabbed the ones I can find. Okay. So now we're going to do 60 degrees. What do you think is going to happen? Do you think it's going to go, each time it's gone farther, farther. Do you think this is going to go farther still? What do you think? You don't know? If you had to guess, what would you guess? So far it's been getting farther. So you think it's going to get further? Okay. Here we go. Pulling it back. 60 degree angle. Point six. <laughs> it went, yeah. well, it bounced, but the first time it hit point six. Okay, so there's what we got. So. Does that say wrangle? Range. So, why does this work? Look, as you go, as I increase the angle, it goes farther until it gets to a certain point. It starts not going as far. Can I just say this? No. So, what's going on here? When I shoot it horizontally like this, 
uh, they all start with the same speed, and part of that speed goes this way, and part's going up. That's called a vector. What do you think about that? No. Okay. And so, if I shoot it horizontally, it's going very fast that way. But, it's going to hit the ground pretty quick, so it's not going to go that far. So, I can make it go for a longer time by aiming up. As I aim up, more of the speed's going up, but less is going that way. So, if I, if I shoot it too high, then it, it's in the air for a lot longer, but there's very little speed going that way. So, even though it's in the air for a long time, it doesn't go as far. So it turns out that if you start from the same level that you end, which angle do you think goes the farthest? According to this one, which goes the farthest? Seven. Seven, that's how far, but what was the angle? Six. 45 degrees. Now, if you want to build something like this, it, it's important that you have a consistent launch speed, and you don't want it too high. Because if it's too high, then, then the maximum angle is not at 45 degrees. It. Yeah, you can try to shoot it. Let's see. Shift this way, not left. Put that on there. Like that. Okay. And then you can pull it back with, by holding on those two things. Right there, and then let go. Where do I shoot it? Where do you want to shoot that? Doesn't matter, right? Yeah. It's pretty cool, huh? Built it myself. Okay, so if someone wanted to learn more about something like this, where could they look? Angry Birds, Something Forces. Something Forces. Angry Birds, Furious Forces, National Geographic book. Check it out. I'll have more uh, about this experiment online. I'll write up some stuff and you can look at it, right? High five. Thanks for helping.